When you're managing a complex river system that runs through urban and rural lands and communities like the San Antonio River, you can't take a one-dimensional approach. It takes science, engineering, adaptive land management, and effective community engagement, all working together toward a shared goal, a river that's safe, clean, and enjoyable for everyone who interacts with it. My name's Sean Donovan, and I manage the environmental sciences team at the San Antonio River Authority. The most unique part about managing the San Antonio River watershed is that the headwaters are right in the heart of downtown San Antonio. San Antonio is the seventh largest city in the U.S., and the system quickly goes from a highly urbanized, densely populated watershed into rural communities downstream. So the applications of watershed management that would make sense in the urban environment don't make sense in the rural environment and vice versa. The complexity and the nuance of the San Antonio River Authority are exactly what makes us so successful. Not only are we serving people who have an interest in the environmental components, but we also do floodplain mapping to help with insurance rates. We do wastewater treatment facility operations on the eastern part of Bear County to allow people to flush their toilets. We do public affairs to educate K through 12 students. So because we have such a diverse set of needs in the constituency that we serve, we must have a diverse organization adjusted to fit exactly those needs. The biggest success that we've had as an organization, because it is ongoing, is what's called the Mission Reach Ecosystem Restoration Project. The Mission Reach Ecosystem Restoration Project is the largest urban stream restoration in the country. The project was really kickstarted in the early 2000s with uh, government advocacy, so talking to our local representatives in the House, our Texas senators, uh, local mayor and commissioner's court, and really working that all the way up into the engineering and the design and now the fish management and the habitat management. So it truly is an example of the River Authority flexing its muscles across all the departments that we have. We're the San Antonio River Authority, but we don't have authority as an organization. We can't go out and write a ticket for somebody if they're not following what we're recommending or what we're prescribing to a certain area. And so because of that lack of authority, we've really had to use our community engagement, our elected official engagement to really make these types of things happen. You accomplish so much more whenever you have partners and peers. You have that force multiplier of working with other experts, whether that's other experts in your particular field or if you go farther afield and you work with people outside of what your lane is, that's what's really been effective for us is making sure that we uh, recognize our strengths but also recognize our weaknesses to bring in individuals to help us accomplish our larger goals. It's so important that the public understands the work that we do as fisheries professionals or environmental professionals or engineering professionals because nothing that we do is in a vacuum. Our situation is a bit unique because we are a taxing entity. And so if we're doing things that taxpayers or constituents in our basin don't like, then we're really not ultimately answering that customer. From a very basic perspective, long-term success for us is truly safer, cleaner, and more enjoyable creeks and rivers. And to break that down a little bit, uh, we typically associate safe with, with flood safety, clean with water quality and environmental health, and enjoyable with recreational opportunities. We really are looking for that holistic approach to watershed management, again, that serves the environment, helps fish communities, helps mussel communities, but also prevents flooding to homeowners and property, or allow for greater recreation in the community. So it really is that holistic approach.